Hello, welcome to chapter 17, part 5, Bootstrap Disabled and Read Only Form Controls, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn how to disable and make the form controls read only. Okay, Bootstrap provide some of the classes and attributes which are used to disable or make the form controls read only. In the sense, uh, in your form, if you want to make any input type uh, like read only or disabled, then Bootstrap provided some of the classes to do that work. Okay, now you can observe uh, in this table we have a set of classes and attributes and a description present here respectively. Okay, the first two are the attributes and the last one is a class. Okay, we are going to see the importance of all these classes and attributes present here when we code in Visual Studio. Right now, let us understand this first attributes that is disabled. Okay, the description is like it is used to disable the individual controls or all the controls in a field set. Now let us understand only the half of the half part of this sentence. It is like it is used to disable the individual controls. Let us understand this and this part first. Okay, to understand that very clearly, let me jump to my Visual Studio. And in this Visual Studio, it is an empty web project I have taken. You can observe here, and also I have downloaded the script files which are necessary to work with, and also the Bootstrap reference. And in my web page, you can observe I have a reference of Bootstrap min.css jQuery file as well as Bootstrap min.js. Now let us understand the disabled attribute very clearly. Now what I'll do is let me create a form tag. To that form tag, let me add a class called sorry role called form. After that, what I have to do is I have to take a take a label tag, and to that label tag, let me add a label telling like username. Okay. Once I'm done with that, let me take one input control, and it is of type text, and let me erase this value present here. What I'll do is instead of that, let me add a placeholder telling like enter username okay and after that I have to add one class called form control okay and the rule you have to keep in mind when you work with forms is the first rule is you have to set the role to form and the second thing is you have to wrap the label as well as the input type within a due and to that due you have to add a class called uh, form group okay now uh, my job is to cut and paste this label and control input type control inside the due called in and to that due we have we should add a class called form group now I'm done with this now let me jump back to my browser and let me refresh this is how it renders on the web page and this is a username label and the respective control uh, telling like enter username now if I want to make this control disabled okay bootstrap provide me an attribute called disabled attribute it is used to disable the individual control here I'm having only the one control in the sense it's one an individual control if you want to disable this then I have to use that disabled attribute where do I call that it's very simple in this input type tag type text we have to add one attribute telling like disabled once I add this disabled attribute what happens to my form control or input control this input control currently I can edit it but when I make it disabled I can't enter any data to it let me see that let me refresh this page page now as of now I've added a disabled attribute and I have uh, run this web page on the browser now you can observe it is not allowing me to edit anything on this control in the sense input type text I can't type any text okay because we have added an attribute called dis uh, disabled and that attributes you can observe here it is giving us a stop symbol on the input control when I go and over on that and that's what the specialty of disabled attribute it will not allow us to edit any uh, or write anything on that input type control okay that's what the meaning of that sentence okay now let's understand the other part of the sentence telling like it is used to disable individual controls we understood that or or all the controls in the field set in the sense what I'll do is mm, now let me copy this twice and let me add one button and type to this is of button type and let me add some button classes such that it looks beautiful button default let me go back and let me refresh okay uh, okay I, I did not enter the value to the button so it is coming empty let me add submit okay now let me go back and refresh you can observe I'm having two input controls uh, one is of uh, type password I'll erase it now and you have to tell like type 
text is equal to password let me remove this okay and you have to tell like enter the password okay now let me come back and let me refresh you can observe the first control is disabled but this one I've not disabled I can enter the password as usual but and I call all the and also I can click on this but if I want to make this two controls also disabled what I have to do is I have to come individually to that input types then I have to add an attribute called disabled you can observe here what I'm right now I'm doing that but uh, this skills are time right so what I want we have to do is uh, we have to encrypt this entire form tag between a field set tag and to that field set tag we have to add attribute called disabled such that the entire thing present within that field set will become disabled so let me do that field set control x I'll paste it here okay control s now what I'll do is I'll remove this disabled attributes right now now can observe earlier I added three disabled attributes to each of the in input controls but what I'll do is instead of that to this field set tag I'll add a disabled attribute and you can observe okay this entire attributes entire controls now it's disabled because what I've done is I've encrypted this entire form within the field set tag and to this field set I've added attribute called disabled and what it happened is it made all this for controls present in this form tag disabled and that's what the advantage of using this disabled attribute okay and coming to the second part second attribute that is read only it is used to make form input controls read only now we have to understand the difference between disabled and read only to understand that let me jump to my visual studio and here I'll erase out the things okay I'll erase this disabled okay and we have uh, okay now we have two input controls telling like one username another one taking the password and submit button now what I'll do is I'll make use of uh, the two classes that is disabled and read only to understand the read only very clearly so what I'll do is to one attribute to one input control I'll add disabled I hope you understand what is disabled and the second one what I'll do is read only okay now let me go back and let me control F I and you can observe this is as usual like this to this input control text type text I've added the attribute disabled so it's not allowing me to enter any data in that control but coming to the second one the input type is password and the attribute I've added to that is read only what it does is it will also not allow us to enter anything inside that control because it's of type read only okay now what is the difference between disabled and read only the major and the key difference between the disabled and the read only is in the read only we will get a stop symbol but on the sorry in the disabled will get a stop symbol but on the read only control attribute where we are set will not get any stop symbol but keep in mind both of them does the same work only the way they represent is different in the sense disabled attribute provide us telling like completely I'm disabling by the symbol stop symbol but here it's not allowing us any symbol it just tells like I'll not allow you to do that work okay that's the major difference of it and coming to the last one that is form control static it is used to display the plain text it is used to display plain text next to a label within a form okay oh, okay now what I have to do is uh, about this form let me copy and paste the same thing uh, before that let me take horizontal form it looks good form horizontal and to this label what I have to do is I have to add a class called if it is horizontal form then I have to add a class called control label to the label as well as call as well as I have to add one class telling like call large two and uh, what I'll do is let me remove this disabled okay now I'll take another due which spans 10 columns because I already made use of this two for labels class call large 10 and I'll cut and paste this input control between that such that we'll get a horizontal form
let me change this to password and year 2 okay and this type also to password okay now let me go back and let me refresh this page let us see how it looks it looks like this I have to push this button also what I what I'll do is uh, as of now let me remove this button it's not that use okay now what I have to do is I want to it is used to uh, I want to make use of this form control static what it does is it is used to display a plain text next to a label within a form so uh, what I have to do is I have to take another form group and let me remove okay let me set something like uh, age and fine and let me remove this input type let me set the age to 1 not 10. 10 10 let me come back and let me refresh you can observe here okay I followed that rule telling like form control static it used to display plain text next to a label within the form okay it is displaying a plain text next to a label within a form fine now but you can observe like age is below this 10 like it's not properly aligned how to make it properly aligned it's very simple what I have to do is uh, let me take this paragraph paragraph tag uh, and let me cut current paste this paragraph uh, 10 within this paragraph tag to this paragraph tag we have to add a class called form control static now when I add this and let me go and uh, go back and refresh the page you can observe the age is still lying down and the 10 is little up now I want to bring uh, I want to make them equal in the I want to make them lie equally in the sense in the single row now when I do control F5 you can observe the 10 it was which was lying up above that uh, age now it's been coming down okay how it happened we should make use of this form control static what why it is used it is used to display the plain text next to a label within a form and that's what we did now we have not taken any input type control uh, things here instead of that we have taken the paragraph to that paragraph we have added the form control static such that the age and uh, the number 10 lies in the same line properly aligned okay this is what the advantage of using this form control static okay I hope you understood all this disabled read only and form control static classes as well as attributes present here okay and also we saw a beautiful demo and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Lang Pro Training and you can also visit our facebook page visiting these urls and for you can also follow us on twitter for further references you can visit these websites and we are on linkedin too and again i request you last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day